This is Twit. Let's start with the Copilot Plus PCs. What do you say? I'm excited. Are you? Yeah. We June 18th, love, uh, right? That's the date, June 18th. Well, that's that's a date. <laughs> I think it's the way I would say it. Um, <laughs> I, I like the way that Microsoft has thrown another wrench into the confusion that is our lives, you know? Um, you remember back in uh, December when Intel launched the Meteor Lake processors, right? The the first gen Core Ultra PCs based uh, chipsets, rather. You know, they introduced this term AI PC, and then Microsoft five months later said, "Yeah, we're gonna have something called Copilot Plus PCs." And it's like, guys, really? <laughs> you know, so in the sense that a Copilot Plus PC is a superset of an AI PC. Um, you know, these things, I guess, can coexist. I mean, they'll all be AI PCs. Some of them will have better or different capabilities. Um, Copilot Plus PCs right now are limited to the Snapdragon chipsets that were just announced or just uh, or just starting to release or whatever. Um, but AMD and Intel have both said, look, we're going to, we will have Copilot Plus PCs sometime this year. And then this past week, we had Computex in Taiwan and NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel all announced their products that will meet this specification and will, in some vague way, someday in the future, we don't know when, uh, get those capabilities, right? Because the, the Copilot Plus stuff is not coming to everybody who has Windows 11. You don't just get it. And you don't even get it if you have the, the proper hardware. You can't. It, it comes on a new PC. That's the only way you're going to get it. So that's a discussion, um, and actually we will have that discussion, but like maybe first we could just go through what was just announced, right? So we know that the Qualcomm Snapdragon X processors, Plus and Elite, have an MPU that I, I want to say, is it, it's 45 tops, right? Isn't that the speed? Mm -hmm. uh, which is above the 40 tops minimum to qualify for that Copilot Plus status. Actually, I don't think I wrote about this. we got to talk about Stevie. I'm going to add this. Uh, Stevie Batiche, my favorite yeah, presenter. Yeah, I'm going to talk about Stevie. Um, so, because, uh, as always. Now, uh, your Stevie Batiste mentions in the uh, piece on Arcus. Oh, it is. Good, good, good. Okay, yeah. good. I want to make sure that's in there because um, I don't want to. Because if you didn't know, I actually read your stuff. Uh, oh, good. Yeah. So, yeah. I and, and if you didn't know, I read my stuff, but my brain is mush. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't remember anything. All right, good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. You're right. I'm sorry. So, um, 40 tops is the minimum, kind of like Polo is the minimum um, at <laughs> certain hotels. And NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel have all announced, um, I'm going to call them chipsets for lack of a better term, kind of processors or GPUs, whatever they are, MPUs really, uh, that meet that specification, right? So in, in, in NVIDIA's case, they are going to be made available through uh, add-on video cards, some of which are humongous, right? And Target. Um, yeah, and I wonder if I don't already own one. Well, here's what's interesting. Uh, it would be worth looking into this because if I'm not mistaken, these things actually have an MPU on them. So even though there's a GPU that probably gets 400, 500, whatever tops, yep. I believe there's also an MPU that gets, you know, whatever the number is, 40 to 50 tops just to get in so they can, uh, PC makers can ship laptops and desktop computers that will meet this specification. I know. And we're going to talk about this. This is, this is the best then it on the GPU where it'll actually work. Yeah, well, uh, this is the Stevie thing. We're going to get to this. So Stevie yeah. explains why, the why of this. But um, AMD has uh, two new uh, chipsets coming out for laptops and desktop PCs, respectively. They'll both have 50 tops MPUs. Um, I think it was last week or the week before I talked about how Microsoft managed to make everybody upset with their Copilot mm -hmm. Plus um, announcement. It's kind of impressive, one, really. Like, yeah, yeah. The one, the one company we didn't really hear from was AMD. Like they were kind of right. quiet on this, right? They were like, you know, okay, what? And I think we learned why, because they got a guy from Microsoft to come out on stage and say, literally, you guys have exceeded our spec. You're the only ones like, and they're not the only ones, but technically 50 tops is higher than 48 tops, which is Intel, which is higher than 45 tops, which is, which is uh, well Snapdragon. Yeah. So they're within a single digit percentage of being whatever, but they, they actually got Microsoft to come out and say like, you, you guys are the, you know, like you're the best, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I think it's an apology for, I really think that's why, right. I mean, you kind of know it's why um, Intel, we already knew Lunar Lake was coming. They kind of spaz announced it uh, during the Snapdragon event because they were upset um, that there, that will deliver 48 tops off the MPU. Um, honestly, though, that's not the most interesting thing about this chip. Like we knew that was coming. 
Um, there's also an Arrow Lake chipset for desktop PCs, which they provided very little information about, but we're going to call that like a Meteor Lake class uh, CPUs family for desktop PCs. They're going to announce that later in the year uh, more formally. But this thing has a brand new GPU, which uh, with dramatic improvements over the previous gen, which you may recall is that new art graphics, a dramatic improvement of the one that came before it. So in two generations, they've kind of gone off the top, uh, just gone up, blown away the GPU stuff. Kind of really interesting there. They got rid of hyper threading in these chips. Um, there's a, a much bigger emphasis these days on single threaded performance because most people on laptops are kind of doing one thing. Mm -hmm. And that's where that shines tablets, obviously. But as far as, you know, computers go, that's actually the mainstream. Um, we don't expect that to be the case with Arrow Lake, but I guess we'll see how that goes. Um, and uh, a simplified design. I guess Meteor, Meteor Lake was kind of a radical design change. This one, they've kind of um, simplified it. And uh, the normal CPU improvements, you know, 1.2, 1.3x, but GPU and MPU are orders, not, not orders of magnitude. They're, they're single to double digit X uh, improvements, right? Um, their previous MPU, I want to say, was 11 tops, I believe. It's so now 48. That's a big deal. And then it's, yeah, I think it's five uh, times, right? Or four times. Like it's a big lot. Big deal. Yeah. So these are big changes. And uh, they're, it took them 20 years, but they're, the, apparently Intel has now heard the term performance per what? And so mm. they're starting to talk. I know uh, they're starting to talk that stuff up uh, as well. And that's that also was a big factor in the Steve Batiste talk, which we'll mention. In fact, we'll probably spend more time talking about it than he did giving the talk. It was only eleven <laughs> minutes long. Um, yeah, but that's that's a very Batiste thing. He's done that before. Yeah, just shows up, lays down the law, and you're talks all the like we we need to think about this. Given how well the, the the interesting thing about him is. Given how well that last speech was, the one from Bill 2024, mm -hmm. 2023, right. um, this one is not quite as eloquent, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. um, but it, everything he said panned out 100%. Uh, it, it makes sense to pay attention to what he's talking about. He, and he gives a nice uh, defense, if you will, of the MPU, which, again, we'll, we'll get to. Um, Qualcomm has nothing new to announce this week. So, of course, they made an announcement because they don't want to get left behind. Uh, you know, look at us, we're still here. Um, and so they've said, look, we're going to put um, Snapdragon CPUs in every uh, PC form factor there is. And there were no details, but they had a picture of an all-in-one PC, a tablet, you know, the different uh, laptops, et cetera. So that's good news. And I think for those people who are interested in possibly buying like a Snapdragon motherboard and, you know, building their own PC, I, there's no reason that can't happen. It's just that we're not going to really see that plug and play thing where you get like a CPU socket, choose your own. So, you know, it's going to be, it's going to have to be a fairly. Maybe sock. Yeah. Uh, a fairly you know, standardized thing. Yep. Yep. Oh, I should say, I forgot that one of the more interesting things about Lunar Lake, uh, in addition to the things I said, they're putting the memory on the chip, just like ARM chips do. Right. Yeah. Um, now this is good and bad. Um, there's, there's some confusion about performance. Um, it's not actually like faster to do that per se. But it is more energy efficient because the distance between the processor and the RAM is shorter. So it doesn't use as much energy making that hmm. interchange, I guess, um, is how they described it. Yeah, they question um, the math on that one, but okay. Yeah, yep. Um, you know, distance. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, that's the point. And I, I don't know. I'm not a, I am not a hardware expert. I don't know if this precludes add-on RAM, but I think it might. You know, I think this we might be getting into a situation where we've seen Actually, the industry has been kind of working toward this, um, where you buy a laptop, it has whatever RAM it has, and you're kind of stuck with that. And this the, is the, the way Air works, model, which Ultrabook generally have followed. Yeah. So as as this right to repair thing has evolved, we've seen the ability to easily remove the back of the computer, the bottom, I guess, the laptop. You can replace the battery. You, the, there's M2 cards for things like the the storage, obviously SSD, um, Wi-Fi is like that oftentimes. And it's all user serviceable. But the one thing that it typically isn't is the RAM. It's usually soldered, soldered on. Sometimes you'll see soldered on plus one or two DIMM slots. Um, but that's actually increasingly rare. And I'm I, I'm not saying this is why, but I, maybe maybe we've been moving toward this day for a while now. It's kind of hard to say. But yeah, I, I just don't think most people upgrade their machines. Once you get it, right. you get it. You use it till you're done with it. Yep. And I, I don't know. It's, and you're saving costs in space. Like there's a yep, lot of yep. case to be made for this. I mean, it used to be that the chips were so expensive to manufacture. You wanted them all adjustable so yep. that you could, you had choices there and you only had to make one. These days of the way fabs are working, it makes perfect sense to have a processor with three different memory uh, options and you right. just all on one sock. 
Yeah, no, I, this is a, definitely the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. So uh, the the problem is like today we we have options, obviously chips and you can get different things, different CPU sets and so forth. So um, are we going to move to a world where this is the norm and maybe the only thing that happens in that space? I mean, we'll always have the beefier chips and desktop chips and all that, but uh, it's, I don't know. I, I just don't know. So we'll see. I don't believe AMD is doing anything like that, but Qualcomm is, of course, right? Um, so, but I do appreciate if there's three different company, three different chipsets coming out, they're going to grab every market opportunity they have, and some of them, one of them is going to make a mini ATX board. Yeah, so you plug it into it, whatever chassis you want. Yeah. It, so when you go to buy uh, in the future, perhaps let's we'll imagine this. So you, you know, you buy an Intel processor today, get a motherboard of whatever kind, you buy your RAM and storage. Like maybe in the future. What you're buying is that uh, CPU, which is really a sock with the RAM, and that's that's the configuration. It's like this CPU, GPU, NPU plus 16, 32, or 64 gigs of RAM, what, or whatever the configurations are. Like you, yeah. actually, you might have to do it at purchase time, right? Yeah, you might do it at purchase time, and it, and it maybe it is it may be integrated into the motherboard entirely, or it might just go be a big plate that you put down. But then yeah. the motherboard is just the bus, the additional I/O devices, and a couple three or four uh, M3s. Yeah. So sounds good to me, <laughs> you know, uh, well, I should say I, with the understanding that some people, especially people listening to the show uh, are probably a little nervous about this, which, which is understandable. Um, we'll talk a little bit about framework coming up, but I, I do like the modularity thing. I do like the repair upgrade thing. I, I think like most people, I have made purchases with the eye toward, well, if I want to later in this case, I could increase the RAM storage, whatever, and then never do, you know, yeah. right. And no, I think that's you, you like that too. option. I've like also had option. the experience of somebody, you know, trying to work on a machine that's four years old and yeah. the pins are all brittle now. So when you do go to try and change anything, it never works gonna, again. Yeah. 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 I had cars that worked that way. The, it was the uh, dirt on an oil on the engine that was holding it together. It was actually holding it together. And when you yeah. steam cleaned it, it just exploded out to the ground, like in a giant liquid yeah. pile. Um, which is in many ways a, a vivid description of an Intel CPU. Uh, <laughs> so, anyhow. Hey, it's me, Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Windows Weekly. If you want to see more and want to catch the whole show, you can subscribe in your favorite podcast client or visit our website, twit.tv slash WW. And of course, there's links right below me. <laughs>